I, I loved the film industry and it, I was just gifted with parents, or my father was part of it. Um, so I really did want to be in films. All, I, all, all my life I've always wanted it. The very first thing I drew up was a, uh, what we call a chopping block, which is you chop your head off. So you say execution stuff. Well, uh, I started, I did the drawing and pulled it apart. And it was, it was only that big, it was very small. And then it went to the carpenter shop and they kept phoning up saying, how big did you want it? What sort of wood would you like it? And it was all a bit of a taking the mickey out of you. And then they, they turned it, they said they'd be ready for painting now. So it, and it was on a little trailer and the paint shop was five yards away. But it had to be there. The only thing on it went there. Then the painter started. What do you want? Is it mahogany or is it oak? Or how much blood do you want on it? And all that. Anyway, I mean, all these questions, which... <laughs> and eventually it went on to the set, right? And I was so proud because it's the only thing they put on this big flatbed, you see. And it goes off to the stage. And the, the prop men take it off and they put it right in the middle of the set. And the director came on and said... Uh, What's that bit of rubbish in there? Just get rid of it. <laughs> that was my pride and joy. <laughs> it's a bit awful, but it's true. But Ken Adams was one of the best sort of British designers worldwide, really. I mean, he was uh, a very famous man. I was called by Ken. We had one of these big open art departments. From, and uh, Ken shouted out, Terry, Terry. So uh, I had Reg Breen there, and he said to me, Go on, you better go. He's calling you, you see. So I went there thinking uh, I'll get a job and he just says, uh, go down to the bar and get me some panatellas, five panatellas. I stood there and uh, Ken said, what are you waiting for? I said, the money. So he said, uh, I'll see you later. Just go, well, it was my lunch money, I had to buy the bloody things. So I found, I bought these, these uh, cigars, went back to Ken and I put them down like beside his drawing board and he says, thank you. What are you waiting for? I said, the money? So he said, I'll see you sometime with that. And this happened every day. And these panatellas, oh, I'll never forget it. And, he, and, and I, my lunch is going there. <laughs> oh, that's what it, oh, that's all I saw it. Yeah. Sid said to me, I've got this film uh, going to the Skellington Coast in Africa. Would you like to come with me, you see? Well, of course, I've got to say yes, oh, absolutely, you know, that'd be good. And I said, well, what are you paying then? Uh, so he said, well, we'll pay the same we've been paying MGMs, you see. I went, well, I was only getting me 13 pounds a week. Wanted more, I said, no, we, we, well, we're paying them 40 pounds a week. <laughs> <laughs> they were paying 40 for me, and I was only getting 13. So that, I thought, well, that's it, I'm gonna, that's it. Peter Merton was a great designer, a very knowledgeable man, and very much a technical man as well. Ken Adams is more a thinker, like Anton First would be. That, you know what I mean? You get the working designers and you get designers that uh, are thinkers, as it were. I always think of the camera, what the camera is going to see, first of all, um, and how much. Um, if it's a very modern one, uh, you always get given what a concept artist would be given, like uh, on Alien, it was um, Giga. But uh, Ridley Scott at that time knew, knew the book and he said, I want it to look like the Giga drawings, you see. And then, of course, then it gets handed over to you and then you've now got a designer set that uh, interpret. interpret it, that can be filmed, you see. And then you can completely change from that and then I'll be on Death on the Nile, say. Completely different period. But you adapt yourself quite quickly, I think. Don't forget, Rocky Horror Picture Show wasn't anything then. It was just like a little tiny film, you see. So John Clark, who was the art director on Tommy, was then made the production designer. After a week, he left the film because his architectural business started off on the Tottenham Court Road. So I said to John, and who's the production designer then? He says, I don't know. They, they're talking about it. I don't no idea. Then I was called by Richard O'Brien and Michael White up to their office and they said, we've got a new designer. And I said, oh, who's that? You. <laughs> Just like that. The best film I've ever 
had the most enjoyable film I've ever done was The Deep. I said, what about sitting on a boat for a year, going around the Caribbean? I said, you can't whack that. So she said, no, absolutely not. And I said, that's the best film. The successful films, maybe Bond or Superman or that sort of thing. But the cult one is Rocky Horror. So I've had a big mixture, really, without really knowing it. Fifteen years ago, I was here, and I was... Uh, it's, you always get young people asking for work and that sort of thing. So I got this phone call. I said, well, I'll come to Pine for well, my wife's office. And uh, I interviewed this girl, and she said to me... Um, I said, have you got your portfolio? She said, portfolio? So I said, yes, so to see what you do. Oh, to be an art director in films, you don't have to have any art training. Oh, really? I said, who told you that? Well, she says, no, no. I said, and then that was the time I f decided to start this off because I wanted to train young people, and it just hit off. Worldwide, I'm talking about, because uh, when you actually go and see media um, um, classes and things, when you see that, the annoying part about it is there's nobody there teaching them how films are made. We've got to teach young people the industry. It really, you really have to. I mean, uh, because you've, you, that's the, it's, it's our future even. I mean, it, I mean, I had my mentors and I learned my job and I think somebody ought to tell them and that's what I hope I'm doing. And, and generally are you happy?